Welcome into PFF Studios. Austin Gale here with Mike Renner, the host of PFF's Two for One Drafts podcast, a rookies and prospects podcast. Today, we're continuing our draft profile series. Going to Javon Kinlaw, the big guy back here, South Carolina defensive interior, had a very good senior bowl. A lot of people like this kid. Yeah, and there's a lot to like about this kid. I mean, if you were to build a defensive tackle in the lab, chances are it would look a lot like Javon Kinlaw in terms of the length, the size, 315 pounds, 34 plus inch arms, get off is fantastic. I mean, there's not a lot of boxes physically that he doesn't check at this point. And oh yeah, he checks the on-field boxes too, the way he's rushed the pass for the past couple years. I love when you say that. If you're going to build a defensive tackle in a lab, it would look like Javon Kinlaw. If you're going to build a draft analyst in a lab, I think it would look like you, Mike. I just got to mm. say that. But let's dive into the specific film positives for Javon Kinlaw. What do you see on film? I know he's got the size, the athleticism, humble dude, great character. But on film, what do you see as positives for him? I, I think he just gets so much play from that length and the power. I mean, you look at the dude's frame. You stand next to him down at the Senior Bowl, and he is is just solidly built from top to bottom. There's nothing really about him that you would change in terms of physically. Uh, he is just the power behind his hands, rocks offensive lineman back, continuously controls every interaction that he is a part of one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, and over the past two years, 88.7 pass rushing grade in 2018. That was the best of any defensive tackle in this draft class. 90.7 this past year, so still improving. Uh, 40 pressures this past year. As a pass rusher, he's just been utterly dominant. And that's like splitting time between nose tackle and three technique. Mm -hmm. He's not going to be a nose tackle at the next level. 6'6", 315, a little high cut. He's a three technique, four tech, five tech kind of guy playing him out over that. But the fact that he played nose tackle and still rushed the passer and still played run defense at the high level that he did is very encouraging. A top 15 player on PFF's draft board, but there still are some cons in his game. Can you speak to those? Yeah, he'll get high off the line of scrimmage at times. That's what I was talking Hard about. Hard not to nose. when he's that tall. Exactly. Though. That's what I was talking about. At the no tackle position, he's just not going to be that because he's you know, maintaining leverage in the running game at that size can be difficult. So he'll play high at times, pop up off the snap, doesn't have a lot of pass rushing moves, which while that's a con, is almost a positive in his favor that we'll touch on a little bit later. But he only has a couple pass rushing moves has a swim, a push-pull, that's about it at this point. Could stand, add a few more, but he's already got a lot of play out of those two pass rushing moves. So, uh, again, not super worried about the cons on this list for him. What's the player comp comparison for him, the NFL player comp for Javon Kinlaw? I think it's pretty easy. Chris Jones for the Kansas City Chiefs, almost identical height, yep. weight, uh, you, you know, length. And I think there'll be similar athletes. Kinlaw may even be a little bit more athletic. I Ooh. thought Jones was a little bit more polished coming out, had a little bit more in his toolbox coming out of Mississippi State there, but the, athletic, the size athleticism is about spot on for both those two guys. Okay, Chris Jones comp, so which adds, is a high, adds, is a high adds, ceiling. <laughs> adds a couple moves to his game. I mean, you're talking about a very, very good prospect at the next level. What's the bottom line for Javon Kinlaw? Maybe a floor you know, projection for him at the next level. I, I think he may struggle out the gate, because like I said, he doesn't have uh, you know, the refined the pass polish. rushing skill set, but this dude's really just scratching the surface. The fact that he's graded out so well as a pass rusher with such a limited move set, and if you just get him in a, you know, a, with a good defensive line coach, get him to learn a few pass rushing moves, the sky really is the limit for him because of how athletically gifted he is, because of how powerful he is, and because he's already, you know, so productive uh, with his skill set. So I do think Javon Kinlaw could be someday talking about him in that elite tier of defensive tackles. You want to get rid of me and get back to more great PFF YouTube content? All you have to do is push that button right there and subscribe. Thanks for watching.